Australia is facing a concerning rise in whooping cough cases. This highly contagious respiratory infection, once considered largely under control, is now making a significant comeback. Health officials are urging all Australians to take immediate action, particularly focusing on vaccination. This surge in cases underscores the critical need to understand whooping cough, its risks, and the importance of preventive measures. Whooping cough, medically known as pertussis, is caused by a bacterium called Bordetella pertussis. It spreads through the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes. The disease initially presents with mild, cold-like symptoms, making it easily mistaken for a common cold. However, it progresses to intense coughing fits that can make it difficult to breathe. These fits often end with a characteristic whooping sound as the person gasps for air, hence the name. Whooping cough can be particularly dangerous for infants and young children. Their airways are smaller, making them more susceptible to breathing difficulties from the severe coughing. In severe cases, whooping cough can lead to pneumonia, seizures, brain damage, and even death. Understanding the seriousness of this disease is crucial in emphasizing the importance of vaccination. Vaccination is the most effective way to prevent whooping cough and protect ourselves and our communities. The whooping cough vaccine is typically combined with vaccines for diphtheria and tetanus, DTAP, and is administered in a series of doses, starting in infancy. While the vaccine is highly effective, no vaccine offers 100% protection. However, vaccinated individuals who do contract whooping cough generally experience milder symptoms and recover faster than unvaccinated individuals. Vaccination not only protects the vaccinated individual, but also helps in reducing the spread of the disease. When a high percentage of the population is vaccinated, it creates herd immunity, making it difficult for the disease to spread. This is particularly important for protecting vulnerable populations, such as infants who are too young to be fully vaccinated. Despite the availability and effectiveness of the whooping cough vaccine, vaccination rates in Australia have been fluctuating in recent years. According to the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, vaccination rates for whooping cough have not consistently met the target of 95% coverage needed for optimal herd immunity. This shortfall in vaccination coverage is a significant contributing factor to the current surge in cases. Medical experts across Australia are expressing growing concern over these trends. Dr Jane Smith, a leading infectious disease specialist, warns, The decline in vaccination rates is alarming. We are seeing the consequences firsthand with the resurgence of preventable diseases like whooping cough. Her concerns are echoed by numerous healthcare professionals who witness the devastating impact of vaccine-preventable diseases on a daily basis. Section 5. Boosting our defences, the crucial role of booster vaccinations. Booster vaccinations play a pivotal role in maintaining our health and safety. Maintaining immunity against whooping cough requires booster vaccinations throughout life. These booster shots are essential to ensure that our immune system remains strong and capable of fighting off infections. Immunity from the initial series of childhood vaccinations wanes over time, making booster doses crucial for continued protection. Without these boosters, the effectiveness of the initial vaccines diminishes, leaving us susceptible to diseases. Unfortunately, booster vaccination rates are significantly lower than initial vaccination rates. This gap in booster uptake is a concerning trend that needs to be addressed to prevent potential outbreaks. This decline in booster uptake further contributes to the vulnerability of the population to whooping cough outbreaks. When fewer people receive their booster shots, the community's overall immunity weakens. Health authorities recommend booster doses of the whooping cough vaccine for adolescents, adults, and particularly pregnant women. These groups are at higher risk and need additional protection. Vaccinating pregnant women is especially crucial as it provides passive immunity to their newborns, protecting them during the first few months of life when they are most vulnerable. This early protection is vital for their health and development. 
Boosting our defenses through timely booster vaccinations is essential in maintaining individual and community immunity against whooping cough. By staying up to date with our vaccinations, we can protect ourselves and those around us. Section 6. The COVID-19 Effect. Rebuilding Trust in Vaccines. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a complex and multifaceted impact on public trust in vaccines. While the rapid development and deployment of COVID-19 vaccines showcased the power of scientific innovation, it also led to a rise in misinformation and vaccine hesitancy. This erosion of trust in vaccines has had ripple effects, impacting vaccination rates for other diseases, including whooping cough. Rebuilding trust in vaccines is paramount in the fight against vaccine-preventable diseases like whooping cough. This requires a multi-pronged approach involving transparent communication from health officials, engagement with communities, and addressing concerns and misinformation with evidence-based information. It is crucial to reiterate that vaccines undergo rigorous safety testing and are continuously monitored for efficacy and potential side effects. Section 7. Protecting our communities. Herd immunity and the importance of high vaccination coverage. Herd immunity, also known as community immunity, occurs when a significant portion of the population is immune to a disease, making it difficult for the disease to spread. This collective immunity acts as a barrier, preventing the disease from reaching those who are most vulnerable. This protection is particularly crucial for individuals who cannot be vaccinated for medical reasons or those with weakened immune systems. These individuals rely on the immunity of others to shield them from potentially life-threatening infections. High vaccination coverage is essential in establishing and maintaining herd immunity. It ensures that the majority of the population is protected, thereby reducing the overall presence of the disease. When vaccination rates decline, herd immunity weakens, leaving communities vulnerable to outbreaks. This can lead to a resurgence of diseases that were previously under control. This is evident in the current surge in whooping cough cases in Australia. The rise in cases highlights the importance of maintaining high vaccination rates to prevent such outbreaks. Each individual vaccination contributes to the collective protection of the community. Every shot administered is a step towards a healthier, safer environment for everyone. By choosing to vaccinate, we are not only protecting ourselves, but also playing a vital role in safeguarding the health of our communities, particularly the most vulnerable among us. It is a collective effort that requires everyone's participation to be truly effective. Section 8. A call to action safeguarding ourselves and future generations. The recent surge in whooping cough cases in Australia is a stark reminder of the importance of vaccination. This highly contagious disease can have severe consequences, especially for young children and vulnerable populations. It is a call to action for all Australians to prioritise their health and the health of their communities by getting vaccinated and staying up to date with recommended booster doses. Vaccination is a simple yet powerful tool to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. We must not allow complacency to undermine decades of progress in public health. The success of past vaccination campaigns shows us what is possible when we work together. Talk to your healthcare provider about whooping cough vaccination for yourself, your children and other family members. They can provide you with the most accurate and up-to-date information. Educate yourself about the disease, the vaccine, and the importance of herd immunity. Understanding how vaccines work can help dispel myths and fears. Share accurate information with your networks and encourage vaccination. Your voice can make a difference in promoting public health. Together, we can combat misinformation, rebuild trust in vaccines, and protect ourselves and future generations from the threat of whooping cough. By taking these steps, we ensure a healthier future for everyone. Section 9. Resources and support. Where to find information and assistance. Navigating the world of vaccines and health information can feel overwhelming. Fortunately, there are numerous reliable resources available to help you make informed decisions about your health and vaccination. Your healthcare provider is your primary source of personalised medical advice. 
Additionally, reputable organisations, such as the Australian Department of Health, the National Centre for Immunisation Research and Surveillance, and the World Health Organisation, provide evidence-based information on vaccines, vaccination schedules, and disease prevention. These resources offer comprehensive and trustworthy information to address your concerns and empower you to make informed choices about vaccination. Section 10. Conclusion. A future. Free from whooping cough. The resurgence of whooping cough in Australia is a serious public health concern, but it is not insurmountable. By understanding the disease, embracing vaccination as our strongest weapon, and actively promoting vaccination within our communities, we can curb the spread of this preventable disease. Let us work together to ensure a future where whooping cough is no longer a threat to the health and well-being of Australians. By choosing vaccination, we choose health, protection and a brighter future for ourselves and generations to come.